size, energy efficiency, cargo and passenger load, comfort and cost matter. There are a lot of factors involved in making an airplane design appealing to airlines and, in turn, their customers. But which are the most produced commercial planes of all time? Let's have a look at the top 8 based on total deliveries as of January 2024. At number 8, the Boeing 747. The Boeing 747 is widely known as the queen of the skies. As of today, about 1,574 of these were built, including prototypes. The airliner became a sign of prestige, and many airlines, especially major carriers, operated it. The 747 remained very popular with many variants developed over five decades. There was even a Trijet 747 concept that couldn't make it. The 747 freighter version is operated by almost all the major cargo airlines. These days, however, the 747 passenger jet isn't the aircraft of choice among airliners as fuel-efficient twin jets such as the A330 and A350 have taken over the long-haul market. Number 7. The Airbus A330 The Airbus A330 is a long-range, wide-body aircraft developed from the A300. The A330 freighter variant also exists and is active service with Turkish Airlines and a handful of other airlines. As of 2024, about 1,593 A330s were built. Airbus A330 is very popular among airlines such as Turkish Airlines, China Eastern Airlines, and Delta Airlines. The aircraft has further upgraded to A330neo with new engine, as a twin-engine white body that can carry between 250 and 440 passengers. It is flexible enough to offer a variety of seating options while consistently delivering high-quality comfort for all. At number 6, the Embraer E-Jet family. The family consists of E-170, E-175, E-190 and E-195. They are a short to medium-range narrow-body twin jets that can carry from 72 to 124 passengers. The airline can serve lower demand routes, offering the capacity and qualities of the larger jet. A total of 1,671 aircraft have been delivered so far, and the type is still in service with airlines like Republic Airways and JetBlue. Embraer is at the forefront of global aviation technology. Its pioneering spirit and commitment to innovation and excellence have enabled it to become one of the world's leading aircraft manufacturers. At number 5, the Boeing 777. Commonly known as 777, it is a long-range wide-body aircraft developed by Boeing and it is the largest twin jet ever manufactured. More 777s have been ordered and delivered than any other wide-body airliner. As of January 2024, more than 60 customers had placed orders for 2,241 aircraft of all variants, with 1,727 delivered. The aircraft was introduced to fill the gap between Boeing 767 and 747. The United Airlines became the launch customer. In a typical three-class configuration, the aircraft could accommodate up to 368 passengers. The type could fly from 9,700 to 15,843 km. At number 4, the Boeing 727. The Boeing 727 is a narrow-body aircraft developed by Boeing in the early 1960s. The plane was produced for more than two decades, and the last one rolled out in September 1984. Boeing built 1,832 of these 727 trijets. Boeing 727 is the only trijet produced by Boeing. It is powered by Pratt & Whitney JT-8D low-bypass turbofans and has a T-tail. All three engines are located at the back of the aircraft. The airline could carry around 106 passengers in two classes. Retired from airline passenger use in January 2019, the 727 is used as a freighter and also for executive use. There is also a 727-200 variant, which entered the market in 1965. At number 3, the CRJ series. As of today, about 1,945 CRJ series were built, 
The first generation CRJ100-200 was launched in 1991, and the second generation CRJ700 series was launched in 1999. After the success of CRJ200 aircraft, the stretch CRJ700 was launched. The series was further extended to CRJ900, which could accommodate more passengers. The airliner faced major competition from Embraer aircraft. E-Jet family was also taken over the market, so CRJ1000 was launched to compete with the type. Despite all these innovations, the aircraft couldn't keep up with the new aircraft from Embraer and other manufacturers. At number 2, the A320 family. The A320 family is a narrow-body family of jets that first flew on February 22, 1987. In 1988, there were about 11,289 of A320 aircraft as of January 2024. Some major A320 operations are Indigo, American Airlines, and China Eastern Airlines. A320 family has also has many members in its family, like the A318, A319, A321, and more advanced Neo family jets. The A320 is revered for its fuel efficiency, leading to significant cost savings for airlines. It incorporates advanced aerodynamic design and lightweight materials resulting in lower fuel consumption per passenger than older aircraft models. At number 1, the Boeing 737. The Boeing 737 is the most produced aircraft in commercial aviation, with 11,685 planes delivered as of January 2024. The four main models of the series can accommodate seating for 108 to 215 passengers. It is flown by airlines like United and American Airlines. Boeing wanted to build an aircraft that could offer shorter routes, something similar than the Boeing 727. So they built the first generation 737-100 and 737-200. Boeing 737 Classic, which is the second generation, soon followed. They were more advanced than the previous generation with the new engines like 737 Next Generation. In total, Boeing 737 made more than 12 variants. And with this, we're signing off for today, but do hit that notification bell if you've enjoyed today's video. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.